Wait, what did she say? Translate it to me. I can't hear it. Say, just, why can I put a mic to your head and still not hear you? Say it loud. I'm telling you, you're appropriating native culture right now. I'm appropriating? Yes. Oh, have you heard of them? The Inuits? No. This is not call me. I'm, I'm very interested in what you have to say. So what are you saying? I'm always interested in having an actual dialogue. How am I appropriating anything? You're appropriating Snoqualmie culture. Do you know where where you're staying at tonight? Uh, on a driving on a bus. Yeah, and you just said that you were staying in North Bend. Is there is there something about North Bend that I should know? Yeah, you should. I'd like to hear it. No. Why do I, as a person of color, have to tell you So that I can become educated and so that I can empathize and relate to your point and improve my intellect. I mean, that's how ideas are traded. What? Listen, ideas are traded between cultures by communication, not by insulting and yelling fuck you at people. I have no interest in appropriating anybody's culture. I have been marginalized my entire fucking life. Marginalized by who? Marginalized by heteronormative culture. Marginalized by socio-economic situations. Marginalized by differently be being differently abled. What is it? What is your assumption about my life? What is your assumption about my life that makes you think that I am somehow privileged or I represent someone appropriating your culture? Because I absolutely believe that you have a very good point that you're not going to share with me out of arrogance. You wanted to walk to the front of the stage and yell fuck you at me. Which I think is great. You wanted to say fuck you to me. Fuck you. And why? Search it, but I mean, without having an idea of your perspective, it is impossible for me to relate and to understand and to know that there is even research to do. What is the story that makes this? I mean, I you know I don't I don't understand. Without thousands of years of Salish people that lived here. Obviously, as a white person, male, I don't care. Did you just call me male? I don't even know that you can assume my gender, my friend. I know, I know. I've done your research on you. Well, if you've done your research, then why are you calling me male? Yeah, okay, so you're asexual. But She has the right to, you know, she has the right to make a point. She has the right to speak without anybody, you know, this isn't like a, uh, it's not a, it's, it's a, it's a dialogue. It's not some kind of right or wrong. I think you should go, go research Salish people that have lived here for thousands of years. And why? Salish. Against. Yeah. S-A-L-I-S-H. Yeah. I will do it. I've researched Native American culture in the North Pacific Northwest a lot. I'm, I'm very interested in, you know, knowing more information. I would not appropriate anybody's culture knowingly. I believe in respect. Truly. I've lived my life being disrespected. No matter what your sexual orientation is. How so? Thank you for telling me what I am. What, what are you? 
way more on the spectrum of where I sit. Well, I respect your opinion and I will do the research. You said no, I don't. You think I'm humiliating you? I, I'm literally trying to give you a voice with a microphone to say your point. You wanted to come to the front of the stage and you wanted to say fuck you to me. And most people would just say fuck you back. But you're... So somehow I'm in a situation in which you think that I'm humiliating you. Can't win. I, I will choose to be lost in the music because I don't think I don't think that you, I don't think you're wrong. I don't like this. I don't like the. I don't. I don't need to. I don't like this at all. This is um. The situation, as I see it was I was trying to uh, to entertain, that's my job. My job is to give people their money's worth and I don't like, I, I've been playing music for an hour and a half or something. I'm gonna play more. You're gonna hear every song on this piece of paper. But she has a valid point that I want to hear. And by hearing it, I'm still somehow a white male who's oppressing somebody and I don't understand what it is that I can do. I don't, I don't, I mean, I'm not... The situation is that this country can't move forward if everyone just hates each other. And I'm not a very smart person, and I'm not somebody that has any kind of answer. I'm, a list, I'm trying to listen. But people who do not have any respect for someone trying to listen to their point, have no point. You just fucked my mind. <laughs> I think some people are just trying to inflict negativity, you know? And we know who those people usually are. And so I understand why it comes back to us. <laughs>